When you're working with players, uh, you know, and they come to you with, hey, I want to get better at, say, let's say hitting, for instance, do you have a certain drill or something that, that you kind of consider a base of, of your hitting philosophy, or does it just depend on player to player? Yeah, we don't, I, I'm not a big drill guy. I mean, I, I'm just not. I, I want to work with each guy individually, and some guys, some drills are almost useless for, you know, because they just, they're, they're good at it already, and you're not getting it any better working on a tee, you know, a backhand, one hand drill or something like that. So we don't we don't have any baseline drills like that. We have something that we like and, and you know one hand drills and, and isolating some of those movements you know we do. But really what I try and do with each guy is is develop an individual plan on what's gonna make them the best hitter. And and our deal too in our program is is really more about the middle side of hitting. You know, and we're blessed. We get we get great athletes from the University of Washington, and so we're refining skills, not creating skills so much. And so we want to talk about guys about how to compete with the bat, as opposed to be pretty with the bat. We, we use that term a lot. Don't be pretty, just compete with it. And uh, and so we, we we try and do as many um, live reps in, in sort of game action, or pressure action, really more, more so. Um, just getting guys to understand that the next swing is important and the next swing is important. Great, you took a great swing, that was awesome. You smoked it, let's get another one. Yeah. And then let's get another one, and let's get another one. And after that round is over, let's talk about what happened, what good and bad. Um, so I don't get it, I, I don't get too locked up into that stuff. You know, we'll take our guys, and you know, the first week of fall practice for me always is just to dive and sort of see where guys are at. I'm not gonna bombard them with too much stuff. But we do all, the, you know, we do a lot of different drills and video and all that good stuff that everybody does. But I think one of the really important things for me with, as a hitting coach is just to get guys to learn how to compete with what they've got. Yeah. Whatever it is, just learn how to compete with that. That's awesome. Now, describe the mindset in the batter's box that you want one of your guys going to the league with. Conviction. It's all about commitment and conviction for me in the batter's box. Whatever your plan is, and, and I tell our guys, my plan might be wrong, right? It's, it's an educated guess at best on what's going to happen in that at bat. Your plan might be wrong, but it's your plan. Commit to it, stick to it, and go for it. Right? And, and just be be totally in that moment. And again, as it was just on, so fresh on my mind, um, Alan Jager's you know, friend, and, 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 and he talks all the time about this, about being present. I don't care what happened the last at bat. I don't care that your last plan was, was incorrect, or you guessed wrong, or you chased a slide. It doesn't matter. Right now, what are we doing? What are we seeing? What are we feeling? What are we anticipating? Go through those preparation steps and commit to it. And whatever that is, you might get out, because that's baseball, right? You, you might fail, but you might you might accidentally get a hit too, right? Stick with that plan, stick with what's working, and, and trust your preparation. That's awesome. <clears throat> what's um, one piece of advice you can give aspiring baseball players looking to make it to the next level, whatever that is? Keep your mind open in everything, the recruiting process, you know, watch, watch a lot of baseball, see what level you might fit at, talk to a lot of coaches, visit a lot of schools, uh, expand your mind on, on that, don't lock yourself, you know, I gotta be a D1, a D2, an NAI guy, whatever it might be. I coached in junior college for a long, long time, and I had great, great players that initially didn't want to come to junior college because it wasn't cool enough, or it wasn't sexy enough. Um, keep your mind open, and then keep your mind open on learning too, right? And, and everybody's, like we said, everybody's got a private hitting coach nowadays, and everybody's got this idea, or, you know, every, every hitting coach is now telling, hey, everything your other coach tell, told you is wrong. I've got the secret formula. You know what? It's, it's junk, right? Keep your mind open. Learn stuff. I learn stuff all the time. And uh, and, and, I, and I would hope that the players would have that same mindset as well. Yeah, finding out what works for them. Absolutely. Because you've got to make it your own. You're the one in the box. Exactly. Ultimately, you've got to go in there and compete, not your hitting coach, not your head coach, not anybody else but you. So you've got to figure out how to make it work for you. And that's, those are the success stories that everybody wants to point to. The guys, you know, how does Dustin Pedroia play in the big leagues? Well, that guy, as good as maybe anybody in the game, makes the most of what he's got physically. Cool. Appreciate your time. Anytime. We'll catch you coming out of the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. We're good. It's time for...